Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Matthew, your librarian. Today at story time, I'm going to read you a very special book. It's about a little boy that's deaf. Deaf means that you can't hear. And since he can't hear, he communicates. He talks to people by using his hands, which is called sign language. And he reads lips also. And that's how he's able to communicate. This book is called Dad and Me in the Morning. <clears throat> and look at the pictures of this book. They're very beautiful. It's by Patricia Lincoln. Lincoln, excuse me. And it's very, very beautiful pictures. My special alarm clock flashed. I shut it off quickly and sat up. My little brother was still asleep. Good. It was dark everywhere. I slid out of bed, put on my hearing aids and my clothes, and took my flashlight. Then I tiptoed down the long hall. I inched my way to Dad's side of the bed and gave him a little shake. I flicked on my flashlight so I could read his lips. He opened an eye. I'm ready, he said. Then he scratched his head. Don't wake anybody, I warned him. I'll be quiet, he said. And I knew he would. When we can't make noise, like now, or in the movies, Dad just mouths the words. But I can speech read, so I know what he's saying. Okay, I signed. Hurry. I slid down the banister and waited by the front door. Finally, I could feel the clomp of Dad's feet coming down the stairs. Come on, I signed. I don't want to miss it. He held out my sweatshirt. I opened the door. Everything looked gray and cool air hit my face. Warm enough, Jacob? I watched him sign. Sure, I zipped up my sweatshirt and held onto his hand. Dad and I have lots of ways of talking to each other, like signing or lip reading or just squeezing each other's hands. That's our secret signal. We walked down the dirt road that led to the beach. <clears throat> Nobody's up but us, said Dad. He is. I pointed to a baby bunny sitting near the flowers. He looked right at me. <laughs> then he jumped and hid under a big branch. I took a deep breath. I love the smell of pine trees. It's the peacefulness I like. Dad squeezed my hand. I squeezed back. And I walked so my feet could feel the hard slap slapping of my sandals. I kicked them off when we got to the beach. I ran barefoot into the water. Cold, I shouted, and I ran right out. It's getting lighter, I told Dad. We didn't miss it, did we? No, but it's almost time. Where do we go to see it? Dad pointed to a huge rocks way at the other end of the beach. Follow me, I yelled. I made Dad run over hard sand, through the crunchy shells, and over the snaky seaweed right to the rocks. We climbed onto a nice flat one and sat side by side. I held my nose. These wet rocks smell like old stinky fish, I told Dad. Then something tickled my leg. Hermit crabs. We watched them scoot into a crack. Now is it time, I asked. He checked his watch. In three and a half minutes, look right there. Dad pointed way out over the water. I stared at the line where the water touches the sky, but nothing was happening. So I looked around, and I saw a seagull drop a shell onto the rocks. He swooped down and gobbled the insides. Then he took off. That's when I saw them. <clears throat> There, I told Dad. I pointed behind us to the clouds. They looked like popcorn. They were turning pink and purple and orange and yellow, and the sky was getting more and more blue. Dad tapped my shoulder. Look there, he said. I turned. I didn't think it would be like that. Just an incy slice of orange peeking up out of the water. Wow, in seconds it got bigger and bigger. 
kept floating up and up and up, getting bigger and warmer and oranger and rounder. It's gigantic and so close, I said. I wish I could touch it. Dad gave me a big hug. Let's come back here, I signed. Just you and me. Love to, Dad signed. Then I looked up again, but the brightness hurt my eyes. So I leaned against Dad, closed my eyes, and let the sun warm my face. Pretty pictures, huh? Isn't that nice the way they communicated by sign language and reading lips? And what did they do? They got up early in the morning to watch the sunrise, huh? Just beautiful. Should try that sometime. It is just beautiful. Well, until I see you again, keep reading.